Alright, today I'm going to quickly demonstrate A Plus MIDI Guitar, the first and only true MIDI guitar controller on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Alright, basically this lets me control every instrument on my computer. So if you have GarageBand, Reason, Logic, Contact, or Ableton, you can control every instrument in those software. We're talking about thousands of instruments. So you can play this for hours, days, weeks, months, years. Yeah, it'll take you a year to play a thousand instruments. And uh, so first of all, you got to connect this to your home's uh, internet router using Wi-Fi wireless, okay? Here it is. This is the router. And then connect this to your computer using a LAN cable, okay? Using this will improve performance a lot. It's going to make it quick. You won't hear any delays. If you use Wi-Fi on your computer and this thing is far away, you're going to experience a delay. So I recommend this. Okay, after you set that up, you have to run a server on your computer. It's called the DS Media Wi-Fi server, and you can download that for free from uh, Google Code. Just do a search on it. Okay, so right now I'm using a Native Instruments Contact Player. It's a free version of their full version software, and it comes with only about 30 instruments. And the full version, it comes with loads of instruments. I mean, just 90 gigabytes of sound data. So you can imagine how many instruments that will be. Okay, I'm using a rock guitar now. So it's, uh, you know, it's basically a guitar layout. We got the sound hole here. This is where you strum and you got your, you got four frets. Okay, which is plenty. And I'll show you how to uh, change the positioning of the fretboard or on it. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to apply a cable on the seventh fret. Just doing this. I'm going to hold down the fifth string and slide from this note here. And now I have a cable on the seventh fret. If you can see it here, it says seventh fret. Okay, basically it starts from the top string. This is the first fret. If you do that, if you do this, it puts a cape on the second fret, third, fourth, and then the next string will give you fifth, you know, six, seven, eighth, and then third string will give you nine, ten, nine, ten eleven, and twelve. So you can put a capo all the way up to fret number twelve. <laughs> Okay, so one thing uh, you got to notice, uh, when you're using a MIDI instrument, a MIDI controller, so on open notes, it's not going to stop it for you. It's going to keep ringing forever until the sound runs out. If you want to stop the sound before that, you got to tap one of these frets and it'll stop for you. Okay, if it's not an open string, as soon as you let go, it's going to stop the note. Okay, so please be aware of that. So that's how you control a MIDI instrument. Okay, now my, the rock guitar on my uh, software is set on solo mode, which means it will mute all the other strings while I'm playing one string. So listen to this. It's only playing one string. As, as, uh, as soon as I let this string go, it's going to go back to the previous string and you, know, you can hear the sound of that string. So please be sure to mute your strings by tapping one of the frets. Okay, so this is a you know capo on fret number seven. I'm gonna play something for you. Let me turn the volume down. It's too loud. So. So you can pitch bend like this. That bends up or bends you can bend down this way. Okay? You can uh, control the velocity of the key so it's quiet like this. It gets louder as you face the guitar forward. Okay? And you can control modulation. This is fake modulation. If you just shake the phone that's basically just bending the pitch a little bit at a time. It's not real modulation and you have to be very constant in your movement. And if you shake it too much, it's going to open up the app's setup page where you can set up the guitar tuning, you can set up uh, the built-in sound. So it comes with the uh, acoustic guitar, grand piano, uh, shamisen, a koto. So you can play those four sounds even when you're not connected to a computer. Those are built-in. 
okay just for your enjoyment you can play anywhere on the street on the train whatever and you can also turn off the pitch bend and key velocity if you want and you can control the timer on the hammer-ons okay so if you set it to a quarter of a second you have to hammer on within that time if you don't it's not gonna do a hammer-on okay you can also set hammer-on to be always on or always off okay if you set it always on it's called a tap mode okay tap on mode and then you don't need to strum the string, you just tap on each fret. And this is great for controlling drum sets. So let me show you. I'm going to turn off the guitar and choose one of the drum sets included in this trial version, okay? I'm gonna get the, uh, it's called Beat Them Down. And here we go. Uh, it's pretty cool here. The last two strings will give you auto beats, okay, like this. Okay, what I did right here is I pressed on the note and then I swiped my finger away from it and that way it locks the note for me. You see that? If I just let go, it's going to stop the sound. If I want to lock a note, I hold it down and swipe away from it. And then you can add, you know, your little beats here. So different sounds on some different keys. All right, so that's pretty cool, right? Let me go back and show you uh, the guitar again. I wanted to show you a jazz guitar. And make sure in Native Instruments uh, contact program, you get to choose the channel to be Omni, so it picks up all the strings. If you only choose channel one, it's gonna only pick up the first string. All right, so when I showed you about locking the notes, that can really help you. Okay, so what happens is if you're doing the A chord on most guitar app, it's impossible because you can't fit those three fingers right here. It's very hard. Let me turn off the tap mode. Okay, but this program, because of the locking mechanism, you can actually do this, right? You can hold the key down and pull your finger away from it, but the computer thinks it's still holding that key. I mean, your iPhone thinks that. Therefore, you can, you can create some room for your other fingers to do an A chord. So anyone with any size hand can play this instrument, can do an A chord, which is very hard on most guitar apps, okay? Okay, the bottom three strings uh, simulate moving your hand down the fretboard, not putting a capo on the, the bar or the fret. You're just moving your hand down, so do the same thing, just do this, okay? So now my hand is at uh, fret number two, okay? And if I do all the way here, this is the last one here, my hand is at fret number 13, so... This is the 13th fret when I press it. If I don't press anything, it's the open note. So this way you can play songs like this. I'm not going to play the whole thing. See how fast I change the cable? Apply the capo on the fret number two so I can do an F sharp minor like this, like an E minor. Okay, and uh, what else can I show you? Uh, uh, besides, you know, guitars, you can control any sound you want. So I'm gonna show you a flute, a uh, Japanese shakuhachi flute. Let's see. Alright, uh, 
uh, next thing I'm going to show you is that you can play this by itself. You don't need a computer. Okay, I'm going to turn off my computer speaker. I'm going to take the speaker and plug it into my iPhone. Okay, like that. This is the acoustic guitar. I'm going to show you a, a grand piano. You can use this trick here to lock all your notes and then you can do a C chord without using your left hand. Just And to release them, just tap them. Alright, next instrument I'm going to show you is a Japanese koto. With these Japanese instruments, you should set the tuning to a Japanese shamisen tuning. The next one is the Japanese shamisen, the Japanese guitar. So you can play these instruments without the computer. You can play this anywhere you are. So this is basically a guitar that's pocket size. All right. Uh, the new version that's going to come out soon includes a classical guitar, just to let you hear. And that guitar is from one of my guitars. I sampled it myself. I recorded every, uh, not every note, but the, the bass strings. Okay, it still supports pitch bend, but it doesn't support modulation, but it supports key velocity. And another instrument that's uh, included in the next version is the dulcimer, basically an instrument where you hit it with the, you know, two little drumsticks. And that's it. This is a A plus MIDI guitar, a very very useful instrument. You'll love it because it's not a toy; it's an instrument. It controls your computer. And also one more cool thing that you can do with this, which usually costs you anywhere from a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars, is it can work as a MIDI input for Guitar Pro Six, which is a guitar tablature creation program. So you can create guitar tabs just by playing it on this guitar and every note will be recorded into the program and magically turn into sheet music or guitar tablature for you at real time speed so it's it's really awesome please check out the other videos uh, that I have and also on my other channel called a plus MIDI guitar please check that channel out it has all the videos regarding the software it's an awesome software please support it by uh, getting it and telling your friends on Facebook and uh, they'll thank you for it all right, thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. I'll do some tutorials on how to play the songs that I play today on another video. Bye.